Hi everyone, welcome to This is ECP. I'm an artist here in Santa Rosa, California, and today we're working on our second video of the unboxing and testing out of Culture Hustle, their new Ultimate Pink. What we see here in the beginning is uh, me starting out the panel that we painted up and got prepped last video. I'm weeding and taping here, getting the stencil ready for our spray painting job that we are going to do with uh, this panel. I decided to put it in hyper speed. I don't think you really need to see the entire thing, just kind of get an idea of what we're doing with uh, this piece of artwork. Um, if you know my artwork, it is, I do a lot of stenciling. Um, I don't do your traditional painting, so um, I've taken my sign making art form and or my sign making business and put it into my fine art. And what you see is uh, me taking my sign making abilities and making fine art out of it. Right here we're putting on the mask with the, uh, the vinyl and the transfer tape. When we get to the very end, I'll tell you my likes and dislikes of this uh, this medium. Um, we use Culture Hustle's um, pink that they have, their ultimate pink, and their super base. The super base was kind of nice. It did smell like, um, they said, oats and honey. I'm not sure if that's what it smelled like, but it honestly... It smelled like something you could, you could basically eat. It was really, it smelled really good, uh, and uh, I did just taste it to see what it tasted like. I spit it out immediately. But I tell you, it tasted awful. Um, I don't uh, advise anybody to eat this stuff. It's it's not good, but it does smell amazing. And I did have some issues with it. There were. Um, I didn't follow the directions as, you know, like a lot of people do, um, but uh, I figured out real quick that I should have. Um, I put the pigment in the bottom of the cup and mixed it, and uh, that developed a bunch of clumps in the, the paint that I made. What I, what I should have done was put the base at the bottom and then add the, uh, the pigment on the top and then mix it in. It would have made much more smoother um, consistency. What I had to do because of this faux pas was I had to actually sand the face multiple times to get the desired effect. But honestly, it turned out pretty cool. Um, I've used other hot pinks in the past, Liquitex and other brands. Um, and honestly, I had to use, on this size of a canvas, two bottles of the, uh, the paint just to get this effect and this uh, used um, one half of a little Dixie cup to coat the entire thing. Now here I am spray painting it. Um, the spray paint adhered to this stuff really well. It did not run. It, when I pulled the mask after this it was super easy. It left a pretty crisp edge. I only had to do a little bit of touch-ups here and there. The overall effect was absolutely perfect, um, but I did come to a big, big problem. Um, but it, honestly, I think it was user error because I, I got a little impatient with uh, wanting to see um, my piece of artwork. And uh, at the very end, we'll see what my faux pas was. I, honestly, it was spray painting it before the the pink had actually cured. And so it made kind of an interesting effect. Um, you'll see pretty soon it was, can we see it here? No, this isn't it. Um, I left it in the sun for a while and it kind of shrunk on me. And then I got some really weird crackly effects. And the last reveal here is gonna show you how 
bad it could have been, but it kind of made it look like an old, old picture from years ago. And I think this is this is it right here where you can actually see. We're gonna do some close-ups to see if you see all the crackles in the paint, and uh, that is where the paint, the, the spray paint, did not play well with the. the the base because the base shrank at a different level or speed than the oil based paint so it gave this old world old painting crackly effect like you see in these two three hundred old paintings so I kind of like it so that's why I'm gonna leave it um, the effect was one of those happy accidents so um, I hope what you see is what you like and I uh, come back and see more videos. I'm going to be doing this piece in a longer video so you can see from start to finish how the art is made. Alright, please like and subscribe and hit that bell and I'll see you soon.